Hey everyone, this is Zach from the DIYGolfer.com, and today, boy, do I have an interesting round for you. This is the front nine of Majestic Springs Golf Club, just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. This is my first time playing this course, never never been here before. Was really impressed. It was a, a great value course, really solid price for the quality here. Um, this course plays about 6,500 yards from the tips and is a par 71, so nothing super long here. And this is the uh, sixth round I've played in the last five years after uh, playing in college and taking a pretty huge break. You might have seen uh, some of my other recent videos, really trying to shake off the rust here. So to say this round was not a bit of a roller coaster. You're going to see um, all sorts of shots here. And the theme that I want to touch on is all about blow-up holes and managing your expectations. How do we recover from blow-up holes and how do we prevent them? You'll see me make a couple pretty big mistakes throughout this round. And I really want to point out how I would have done it differently if I uh, got to play this round over again. So you can see I'm off to a bit of a rough start really pulled that 8-iron into the green and short-sided myself to a, a down slope. So I was really just trying to get it on the green and give myself some sort of putt for par, but ended up having a uh, pretty good tester for bogey even. This par 3 is pretty straightforward, very short, nothing really to it. I didn't catch all of it, hit it off the toe a little bit, so took my par and then this hole I'm going to yank it left that driver was feeling pretty terrible in my hands on the front nine here and uh, I found this in the fescue and I kid you not this thing was sitting on a tee um, it's about the best lie you could ever get uh, from this situation and I really took advantage of that you can see the, the divot there uh, you wouldn't have even known I was not in the fairway Hit a six iron and almost spun it backwards from the fescue. So after a bogey on two, I'm really trying to knock this one in for birdie to get back to even. Head down. All the way through the stroke. And now we'll cut to some commentary. So we got about 180 in between a seven and a six iron here. Now, short of the green is hazard, so you definitely don't want to be short. It looks like pin high is that bunker left, so you probably want to clear that. So, in that regard, I think long is probably okay if we go to the six. It's one of those shots you just got to commit to. Take that line on the left side of the green and fade it in. So, as you can tell by that little conversation I had there, I wanted to point out a few things. I was in between clubs, and when you're in between clubs, you have to figure out where the danger is. And in this case, the danger is short. So I took the longer club, knowing that if it went a little far, I was going to be okay. And I absolutely laced a little fade right into about six feet. So awesome shot here. Was really happy with this. Heating up a little bit, two birdies in a row, let's go. Hitting three iron off this par four, very short. Really nothing to this hole, other than don't hit three wood into that water right there. That's why I hit the three iron in the first place. Just overcooked a little wedge shot. Those partial wedge shots have been tough for me. Coming off of a huge break. Don't have a ton of good distance control quite yet. Just flailed this one out to the right. Got a little scared. I was kind of going at the pin, but 
felt like missing left was maybe uh, going to screw me a little bit. So flailed it out to the right and then gave myself a tester that I missed for par. So no good here. And then we have some driver struggles. This entire round I just felt left off the tee. Just could not feel comfortable over those drives. Really just chopping this one out. Hit a nice shot. And here is where we start going downhill. I bladed a pitching wedge over the green and I found myself here. And instead of playing smart and just kind of hitting this to the middle of the green, I tried to uh, hit a flop shot and try to get it up and down and this is what happened. You can see I'm rushing now. All just terrible things to do when you're having a blow up hole. You gotta slow down. And if I would have played this hole differently, I once again on that thick rough, I would have just chipped out to the middle of the green and just given myself a 30 or 40 footer. I was lucky to make that double bogey putt, but overall pretty bad damage control. So if you find yourself in those blow up hole situations, slow down. But hey, let's be honest, golf is hard, we all know it, and you're going to have holes like that. No golfer in the entire world, except for uh, maybe S Steve Stricker, who I think went four or five years without a double bogey. Um, you can't avoid them. You're going to have doubles. You're going to have triples. And the name of this game is to bounce back and calm your mind down, slow down, and show up on the next hole and make a par like I've done here. Hit this one right down the middle, to the middle of the green, and a little two putt for par, and made a little bit of a recovery. The blow up holes can only ruin your round if you let them compound hole after hole after hole. So we squeak by with 37, two over. Not my best stuff, but we'll see you in the next video.